Welcome to Lissertainment, the channel with the most deceptive name in all of YouTube. Fighters almost always touch gloves before a fight, either during the weigh-in, during the face-off at the fight, or just before starting round one. It shows respect for each other and that they are ready to go and are welcome to take each other's head off. But sometimes fighters refuse the glove touch, either out of anger or trying to get in their opponent's head. I for some reason love to see when this happens, but only if the glove touch denier gets knocked out soon after. It's great karma and great fun. Bob Schreiber knew he was in for a hard battle against the aggressive Melvin Manouf, so he extended his hand in recognition and respect, but Manouf decided to ignore it and give him a mad dog stare down. Once again, gives him the hand. And he doesn't want to do it. Well, the tone is set for this fight. Schreiber gave him a long time to change his mind, but he didn't. Manuf went hard as expected and luckily Schreiber was able to withstand the crazy fast and hard strikes until he grabbed him and took him down. This is where Schreiber must fight, that's maybe a possibility, throwing him to the floor and now full power blow and there's no, no answer coming there and he's almost unconscious, I think, yeah, I think there's a big problem. He finally got plenty of unintentional glove touches as Manuf tried to cover up. <laughs> Dude, Manuf sucks on the ground, got finished in like 10 seconds. CM Punk is the wannabe toughest guy to ever get into the UFC. Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall wanted to welcome Punk into the UFC in what was to be his first fight. But no, CM had other ideas. Just to stare at him like a freaking robot and not say a word, thinking that he's getting into his head. This ain't the WWE, buddy. Fake tough staring doesn't work with that stupid smile too. Shoots a double immediately. Punk's in deep trouble behind the up. I think that's it. It is all over. It took Mickey Gall less than three minutes to finish CM Punk and taught him a lesson that he took to heart since he actually shook his next opponent's hand in Mike Jackson. But Ada wasn't a complete dick right here. Quite equal experience, and look at this! Jorge Masvidal style. He does ignore the glove touch, but he never made it seem like he wanted to touch gloves as he started running from his corner almost immediately. Akapian should have noticed it, but Pereira could have maybe slowed down, but he did want that surprise attack, like Masvidal did as the commentator stated. Unfortunately for him, since Akipian went for the double hand touch, he just had to put them up and he blocked the knee. I guess Pereira needed that surprise attack since he has horrible defense and got dropped within seconds and finished with a guillotine. Akapian was visibly and understandably angry after this. This guy is really trying to pump himself up for the fight by disrespecting his opponent, who seems like a great guy. That guy is just like, why you do this? Oh, just forget it. Then when they step into the ring, poor old angry guy can't back it up and gets put away in the fifth round. You see that freaking beautiful combination? Down to the freaking basics with a jab, ducks, and a vicious uppercut. They call this man with the hairs Baby Feather, since he is his student. But the big man looks a little more like Feather than anything. But he does not even come close to the greatness of what many consider the best of all time. And he is not as respectful either. Be a factor if this goes the distance. Heavyweights, but you already figured that out. Salt is shit. This baby Fetter guy looks more like Alexander, Fetter's brother, and he was looking for the glove touch, but this giant guy just wants to bang. They are throwing at each other with everything, and as baby Fetter's opponent is huge, he gets fatigued extremely quickly and starts dropping his hands, and that leads to this. To the ground. Yeah. Not at all. Oh, 
So now he wants to touch gloves while trying to stop the attack, huh? This idiot did the glove touch during the face-off, but then for some reason decides to fake the touch to start the fight. How dumb is this guy? Usually you fake it and land your own shot as you catch your opponent off balance or not paying attention. But this guy is the one leaving himself unprotected and down he goes with a body shot. Looks like he shot right to his sternum, probably taking all the air out of his lungs. But he does stay down for a while, probably just because of the embarrassment. This guy's karma came back so fast at him that he even bowed to his opponent in recognition and apologizing for his stupid mistake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It wasn't a hard hit, but almost any kick to your leg hurts like hell, so it got under this guy's skin. Then Mr. Red takes that same leg that is burning and lands a headshot that folds him up like a Japanese man, apologizing for leaving work 5 minutes early. Prior to the glove touch refusal, during the actual fight, David Hay and Tony Bellew got heated during the faceoff, with Bellew pushing Hay and Hay landing a lightning fast left hook. <laughs> Here it is in slow motion, because it was so fast, you might not have seen it and won't believe me. Then during the fight, Hay ruptured his Achilles tendon, but decided to keep fighting and at the beginning of the 10th round, Belly went for a glove touch, recognizing that Hay is a brave man, but Hay refused. Great reaction by Belly to duck under that huge left hook, but Hay didn't really have it in him anymore. Belly finished him in the 11th round by knocking him out of the ring and forcing Hayes' corner to throw in the towel. This one is simply the best one because the guy initiates the fake glove touch to start the fight and quickly gets put in his place. Man, if you're going for the fake glove touch, don't make it so obvious. This guy made that last step way too long, making it clear that he was going for the takedown. The guy in white negates it beautifully and lands a deep, deep guillotine choke that ends the fight. What must this guy be thinking? Well, that didn't go as planned. If you haven't enjoyed this video, please give it a like as it really gets the algorithm horny. And also subscribe and turn on those notifications. I think that all these fighters regret not touching gloves, not because they think it will change the results of the fight, but mostly because they could have avoided looking like a fool and appearing on this list. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.